Hi, this is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SystemCTL to mask or unmask a service. Now, what it means to mask a service is basically basically make that service so that it is unstartable. You, you know, basically, you cannot start a service that's masked. And why would you want to do that? Well, usually it's because you have like two conflicting services on the uh, server. For example, you might have firewall D and IP tables and what you would do is you would mask one or the other, the one that you did not want to use, and unmask the other one, so basically it wouldn't let you start both of those conflicting services at once. Um, so let's go through th some examples here. If we do a system CTL mask, and in this example we're just going to use SSHD service. This isn't something you normally do, but we'll just use it as an example. SSHD.service. Okay, when you mask a service, what it's doing is creating a symlink to dev null. So let's go ahead and try to start SSHD now. So we'll do a systemctl start sshd.service. And you'll see it said failed to start, it's masked. So at this point, systemctl will not allow us to start SSHD because it's a mask service. The other thing we can do is we can do a systemctl list unit files dash dash type equals service and then grep for mask and this will show all the services on this uh, server that are currently masked now if we want to unmask it we'll just do a systemctl unmask sshd.service and it'll remove that um, that dev null symlink and at this point it'll now let us start the service we'll do systemctl start sshd.service so that's how you mask and unmask services with, with system CTL. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thanks.